As much as we don't want to, we have to face a cold and flu season is right around the corner. Fortunately, women's health contributor Dr. Carrie Peterson is here to tell us about the all natural tricks that can help stave off a cold or the flu or all kinds of other illnesses. Welcome, Carrie. Hi, nice to be here. So is it true generally that women's immune systems are really better than men's? It is. Women are stronger, but despite that, they still get on an average three colds a year. Let's talk about the difference between colds and the flu. And okay. I think we have a graphic to, just to make it to show us because bottom line is some of the symptoms are the same. There are. There's quite a few symptoms in common. They both have sore throat, cough, runny nose, sneezing. But what's characteristic about the flu is that the symptoms are very sudden in onset and very severe. And they have fever and really bad muscle aches. Patients say, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. So if a stuffy nose or a sore throat, most likely you've got some form of a cold. Yes. OK, I'm fascinated by this. Five natural ways that you can really help prevent illnesses. Yes. Let's start with the probiotics. Probiotics. So what they are, to start, is they're a healthy bacteria. They're found in some over-the-counter products, some supplements, and they boost or replace the bacteria that naturally live in your digestive system, and they can help boost your immunity. What we're talking about are things like yogurt. It even yes. says it right here now because the people who sell That's yogurt right, have been very does. smart about yes. it. Yes. Okay, so yogurt, miso. Miso, like the paste that you put in a lot of Japanese preparations. Okay, and then something called tempeh. Tempeh, which is a tofu-based product, like a dense tofu. Okay, so now we've also been hearing a lot about vitamin D. We have yes. some vitamin D yes. here as well. And uh, it seems to be almost like a miraculous kind of vitamin supplement, but the bottom line is, what does it do for you? Well, first, we know it strengthens bone, we know it fights inflammation, but now we've found that it also fends off cold and flu. One large national study found that people that are low in vitamin D are 35% more likely to get a respiratory illness. And for people that have good levels, they are recovering more quickly. How much do you tell us to take? Because there's a lot of dispute on how much you need in yes. your system in a day. Well, the, the majority of the source is from the sunlight. And now that we've turned the clocks back, we're really oh, yeah. not getting enough exposure. We, come, we leave work and it's dark. Well, also it's hard in New York City or in the environments because, you know, you have so many tall buildings, the sun exactly. doesn't get to you much exactly. during the day. And we're indoors. So what I recommend, shown here, uh, 1,000 units per day as a supplement, you'd get an adequate source from. OK, I am in love with this next thing you suggest which is that a massage yes. can help ward off sickness. I'm so happy to know yes, that because I love you have massages. A you have an excuse to get one now. OK, so tell me how that works. So what it is, just a 20-minute massage is going to lower your cortisol net levels. <laughs> and cortisol is the stress hormone that weakens your immune system. So by lowering your cortisol, you, sh you boost your immunity, and essentially. Then last but not least, we're going to talk about green tea. Yes. Again, vitamin D, green tea. Green tea is? It's a magic beverage it's loaded with antioxidants called catechins and it has been found in studies to first off reduce the severity of your cold and flu symptoms and secondly improve your t-cell function which are the white blood cells that fight infection does it also it saves calories which is a good thing to think about yes. too unless, pick it over a latte of course unless you load it up with a lot of honey and or sugar and a lot of other I things keep so. it simple all right very good Carrie thank you so much I really appreciate it so everyone go get a massage it'll help you not get the flu and the cold this year thanks Jane <laughs> how about that Chuck?